Hey folks, Wasa Siete. So this is probably the hardest one I'm, I've done or attempted to do so far. It is very small. This came in a box of Hornstone. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm not even sure what to do with it, to be honest with you. I don't know if there's going to be anything left to it, but, uh, and there's a lot of Cortex on this. It's a uh, an inch and seven eighths long, inch and seven eighths wide and one inch thick so it's and it's basically just a round little thing here I don't know what I'd compare it to egg less than egg size I guess like two-thirds of an egg is about the size of it I guess I'm trying to give you guys measurements and stuff so you have some some sort of reference because it is hard to distinguish what's what on these videos it really is and I I actually have no idea how to how to go even go about this <laughs> we're gonna learn this together I actually had some in the box smaller than this so try and knock back some of that cortex Yeah, I've got a couple of them that are smaller than this down there that... I honestly don't know if I can do anything with them. You could saw it in half. Yeah, I don't know. It's obviously got a layer or a fracture or something up here, so. That was a pretty big hit. It's got some issues in it, too. So not only is it micro, it's got some issues. It's also got some pretty stuff right there. So. I'm going to be honest with you. Something like this, I normally probably wouldn't even mess with. I mean, I mess with some pretty small stuff. Trying to use up everything, but... Uh, I'm not sure that's... If I would have, if it hadn't been for this video. It does have a little crack in there or something. It already had signs of that on this side, so. But I gotta get over the top of this somehow or another. There's just not really much room to turn anything. And then I keep running into this fracture. Yeah, this is a real challenge. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Right now, there ain't really much of anything happening. If I get just... There we go. See, that right there... It's got a fracture right there. That that probably runs all the way through it. This may not work out. That one little thing gave me a path, little uh, ridges to try to 
to try to get up over the hump. You can see how low this platform is, but I'm trying to get over this hump. That didn't work. Well, now I just want to see if I can <laughs> do anything with it, but it is shrinking quick. I was definitely not planning on taking all my flakes from this one side. I was going to try and get over it, but... Those flakes are climbing over it, so that's good. My concern is this fracture that's right here. That's definitely a concern. Yeah, sometimes you can set it on those little ledges and some of that to pop off there come back right here on this bottom part this flake right here took a big dipping flake so I got to try and level that out some you see that kind of blended it a little bit This is definitely the most challenging one I've done yet, by a long shot. Both because of size and these fractures in it, and I still don't know that it's going to work out. reason a lot of these flakes are not releasing is because I'm hitting into cracks. And the cracks come on now. Now it's just kind of a personal challenge. I'm going to step down to number three. I use a number four for that whole thing. Um, Still dealing with cortex.
Good grief. <laughs> Well, it was a challenge of it. <coughs> Back in the day, unless the tribe was sitting on a on a quarry somewhere, I'm sure they use every bit of this little stuff as much as they could but I can tell you if you're a beginner napper you're not going to do this right here <laughs> not on one this small Tips then now, pretty good. Okay. Boy, I may not be able to. I may not be able to do anything with this. I may not get it. I'm starting to wonder. There's no mass to the rock, so there's no resistance, so it's, I'm having a hard time, and it's still fairly thick. So I am having a hard time here. There we go, about that to release. I'm trying to do this with all indirect. I know that I can straighten this out with pressure, but. All right, here's my chance to come back across right here. I gotta manage to get this mess off. Well, it is throw a whole bunch of big hinges on that side. Holy moly, this thing's a mess.
I still got to get that nasty junk off right there. Rest this needs to be handled with pressure. This side's a little rough, but it could be cleaned up pretty easy with pressure. But this one ran a little long. It was by far the most difficult one because of the size and the thickness. So let's see what we are here. I don't like usual. I don't remember what I started with, but. <coughs> about a inch and three eighths it doesn't even look that long but it is yeah about an inch three eighths and it's uh a little over three quarters wide what's let's see how we did that the thickness wise it's way less than a quarter of an inch so three sixteenths at the most all right so there's our piece that one took a little bit longer but uh we're still under 20 minutes i might even nap this one this tiny little piece but uh this side's got this little thing in it right there, but a pressure flake right there will pop that right off. I mean, it'd be easy to make this into a point, but uh, normally I wouldn't mess with something that small, but I just wanted to show you um, that is something that you can do. So you can still still make something out of something that size. So I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all keep napping.